Hello, my name is Queen Princess Crouch. I like to share this um, dream that I had. Actually, it was two of them. One was that I stayed in Missouri and I saw this big, large, round crystal ball. If you're familiar with St. Louis, this crystal ball was so satanic and it came down from the sky. It came down real slow. It was real big, round, real big. And it had electricity and it's like uh molding light in there. It was ready to, to come out that ball. And it had like electricity energy around it when it came out all the way down by the um it's a street called Hall Ferry, close to Chamber Road. And in that area is like ninety percent black or maybe 100 percent i know there's a there's a lot of black star black families uh kids women children men boys whatever and communities and homes and apartments and churches and all kind of things right there you know and this crystal ball came down from the sky and all of a sudden, the ball had came, you know, like a, a UFO. I think UFO. Those, uh, I'm sure y'all see it on TV. Uh, UFO, how they come down and they spin around and all that. And they come to the earth and all that. But no, but this was a crystal ball with bolting lights in it with a lot of energy ready you know strike you know and it had a ball of death it came down like God was pulling his plague and wrath upon the earth but it was in this ball this crystal ball and it came down real slow And it erupted. Bam! Poof. It, and it went all over. It went all over the Berkeley area. It went into the uh, all the black communities. Wherever the black was at. In the Missouri. St. Charles. Uh, St. Louis, uh, East St. Louis everywhere around the world well actually is in uh i take that back in the united states in the united states it went up but it started here in st louis the death of black of uh, black people and it just ramshack everything the, de the death from that crystal ball. It was just killing black people. And if you notice, black people are dying. Like left and right like flies. They getting up out of her. Young and the old. Mostly young, but the old too. They leaving out of her all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. And the days going by so fast. This is September already. Matter of fact, two more weeks. It's October. Days going by so fast. Jesus is coming back sooner than soon. And not just that, but I had another dream last week. And this dream was. Uh, 
again was in a black area and it looked like we was in uh it, it just had a war uh, a world war one and the building was just you know like condemned the bricks fell off the houses and all that and you have to climb ain't no steps because you have to climb and they had some a false church service. I forgot this guy's name. He had green hair. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. He used to be a kid playing in Disney. Uh, he was an actor. And they had raped that boy so much and did so much things to him since he was a kid in Hollywood. Now he went crazy. He got He's a black guy my complexion with green hair now. I saw him in my dream playing the piano. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to... I'm going to do another video and show you guys the guy I'm talking about. But... When I show you that, then he's the one who was in that, in, in that uh, so-called church or whatever. And, play, and I saw his fingernails was black, painted black. Playing the piano supposed to be a church service and it, it didn't look right it it, it, it the, the the it won it won right the church service won't even right you, as a matter of fact you had no door because the uh it was so open with the bricks it, it seemed like somebody threw a bomb in there and they just started having church up in there this was the kicker i know her last name is champagne who sing this song, but this R&B song was so loud. Love, come down. You make my love come down. You know what I'm talking about? I, her last name is Champagne. Back in the 80s. Look it up. You know what I'm talking about. This, oh, as I'm sitting in this condemned building, while they having this fake church, Hypocritical church service. This song was so loud with champagne singing the song. You make my love come down. I can't sing, but oh, you make my love come down. You know what I'm talking about. It was so loud in the in the in the uh, neighborhood. I had to. Ch I w nobody didn't know this but me. I got up. When I saw that guy playing the piano, I had to leave there. So I climbed down from that area, of supposed to be that condemned building. Saw some other brothers were looking horrible. You know, they, they were looking crazy. They didn't look like me. They look like Satan got a hold of them. Then I saw this lady. She was tied up with her hands up, both of her hands. She was tied up on a pole. Her foot, her feet was tied up together on a pole. And that, and that song, Love Come Down, you make my love come, come down or whatever. All the way down, love come down or whatever. It was this demon was playing that or B song. Was playing that or B song. The lady was screaming. And, and he was drowning her, her, her scream with that song, love, come down. Oh, you make my love come down. It was just, again, that, that song, I mean, he turned that thing up all the way up high just to drown this woman. I saw him took this pole out the ground with concrete on the tip of it. He turned that thing, turned that pole Turn around and bam, right at half of her body. 
was almost cut in half. Cranberry, it, uh, cranberry blood was just sp just spilling out her body, and she was fainting, dying slowly. And that song, Love Come Down. So what I did, I got up. My husband's at work. My husband's a musician. I called him. I said, baby, what's this tune? You know, because I didn't know. I, I gave him, you know, I was humming the, the melody. I said, it's an it's a, it's a R&B song. He said, I don't know. So what I did, I'm thinking, I'm like, Lord, what is that song? And I heard Love Come Down. And I put it on YouTube. It was her last name was Champagne. What is that about? You know in the last days, the Bible said that he don't take his spirit away. His spirit is none but love. Love is gonna come down from this earth. Satan going to destroy this world. He going to destroy. Ain't no love going to be here. Folks going to kill each other. Especially the black. Whites, all the colors they are. I mean, if you're in any Masonic or ritual, any kind of ritual or some kind of religion. Because Jesus said to be holy. He said to be holy. He gonna take his love out of here. When he come back, he take his his saints away. Love gonna leave. The Holy Spirit gonna leave. It gonna be terrible down here. So I had to share that. Uh, I had to share that uh, dream, especially about the, you know, the crystal ball and how the plague of murder and killing and death is coming to the black communities. And I had that like a month ago, back in August. If you look in 2023, August up to now, so many, especially women and children, black, dying. When you leave God, when you leave the Lord Jesus Christ, and he said, humble yourself and pray. Seek his face. Turn from your wicked ways. You will hear from him. If not, he will give you what you want. Satan in yourself. And you're going to destroy yourself. With Satan alone right behind it. All these organizations. The Masonic's behind it. And who's behind the Masonic? Satan. They're corrupting the children. Marriage. First marriage. I ain't talking about a whole bunch of marriage, like second, third, fourth. But that's not marriage. I'm talking about the first one. He destroyed. He destroyed. And if that's what you want, that's what God will give you. And then he gonna pull out his plague and take his love out of her. So I recommend Jesus Christ to you. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Turn on Gino Genies. Watch him. Don't worry about me. I got to worry about me. You worry about yourself. Save yourself. 
Follow Geno Jennings. That man telling the truth. Pastor Charles Lawson, I watch him too. There's a lot of more uh, shows that, that tell truth. But you have to pray and see God and get, you know, give your discernment of who is evil and who is good, who is false and who is right. God wants us to follow the truth because the truth is going to set you free. Make you free, set you free. You know what I'm talking about. Make you free. Right now, you know, I have, uh, for no reason, no reason at all, people hate me, threaten me, seeking my life for no reason. I'm kind of glad that it is happening. You know why? Because I know I didn't do nothing. God said if they did him like that, they're going to do you like that because I chose you. So I thank God, you know, yeah. And, and, and it's my family on both sides, daddy and mama, and my in-laws for no reason. No reason at all because I love Jesus Christ. I'd rather to walk with him. We all come short, but I ask God to forgive me too right away. Because I don't play with that. Because I want to be caught my work undone. But besides that, you know. I pray for my in-laws. I pray for my family. And pray for the one who killed my daughter. And his family. And his surroundings. I don't hate him. But he's not getting away. Ain't no one going to get away with death. Ain't no one. So, but I'm praying. So God bless you in Jesus' name. Well, the Lord Jesus Christ's name. All right, God bless. Bye.